Washington, the Supreme Court hinted Monday it may ask lower courts to take another look at a case involving FBI surveillance of Muslims even as the government has cited national security in declining to provide evidence about the operation. Yasser Faizaga and two other Muslim men said the FBI's covert surveillance took place solely because of their religion and that it violated their constitutional rights. But the federal government asserted the state secrets privilege, which allows it to withhold evidence if it considers national security to be at stake. During more than two hours of argument Monday, several justices appeared skeptical of the appeals court's decision but also indicated the challenge should continue, perhaps without the secret evidence the government says it doesn't want to provide. Their questioning suggested the court may be looking for a narrow way to resolve the dispute. The government takes a very much stronger view of what state secrets doctrine is and it says any time we have a secret, we're entitled to use that evidence in our possession without telling you anything ab. In a world in which the national security state is growing larger every day, that's quite a power. Edwin Needler, arguing on behalf of President Joe Biden's administration, said the government is concerned about the broad ramifications of the Ninth Circuit's ruling in cases beyond the one at hand. Can a lawsuit be dismissed at an early stage? Or does the 1978 FISA law compel a lower court to review the material to determine if the government has a good reason to conduct the surveillance? Tossing the Ninth Circuit's ruling would technically represent a win for the government but the court could do so in a way that keeps Faisaga's case alive. Government officials say the goal of Operation Flex was to determine whether particular individuals were involved in the recruitment and training of individuals in the United States or overseas for possible terrorist activity. The surveillance, which involved a paid informant, took place in Seoul.